guys welcome to any cost productions and this is my latest video on my google nexus 7 uh review series i would say um and basically in this video i'm looking to cover the benchmarks of the google nexus 7 yeah. now the benchmarks that be that we will be running are nanomark 2 for the gpu linpack for the cpu and quadrant standard for a bit of both as well as a bit of uh, input output and read write uh, speeds so let's get started uh, firstly, let's start with uh, Nanomark 2, which tests the GPU. Um, as you know, the GPU in this device is a 12-core NVIDIA GPU, clocked in somewhere about 400 megahertz. I would say. I think it's around 400 megahertz. Now, this GPU is really, really uh, good for media consumption, like playing games, watching movies, and stuff. Um, so, uh, if you're looking to buy the Google Nexus 7 for gaming, I would say you'll never be disappointed because it plays almost any game out there in the uh, Android marketplace uh, flawlessly. Although there's some compatibility issues which I think is due to Jelly Bean and the new operate, a new version of Android. Um, and here we've got a score of 55.4 frames per second. Uh, my scores usually range from 56, 55 to about 60. So it really depends on uh, uh depends on this on test at that moment uh and uh now we'll be running linpack to test the cpu uh, let's do three of um, single threaded runs and three of multi thread threaded runs so let's get started single threaded first one we get a score of about 45.12 Uh, and the second run we get a score of 45.072 and in the last and third run we get a score of 47.417 uh, megaflops so uh, my scores usually have stayed in the 40s range they usually touch the low the higher uh, 30s or sometimes even the lower 50s but usually they stay in the 40s range now let's run the three multi-threaded uh, tests and the first multi-threaded test I score about 127.875 megaflops um, in the second run I get around 67 megaflops that's an incons inconsistent result okay uh, I get a score of 107.568 megaflops um, it's underscoring here I think okay here we get another consistent result of 120.304 megaflops and another inconsistent result of 95 but usually my scores stay within the 120s to 130s uh, range um, and uh, the lint pack as you know is not as reliable because the scores tend to vary a lot so yeah uh, let's run our third and last benchmark which is quadrant standards which is one of the most popular benchmarks out there uh, so we'll run all the benchmarks and as you can see it started and it's just zipping through all the benchmarks right now this tests a bit of CPU, a bit of 2D and 3D graphics, the RAM as well as the read and write speeds so hopefully this will give you a good idea of how it works um, waiting for it to finish now um, the benchmarks on this device are not surprisingly high I would say however the overall user interface of the performance is really really good the quad core CPU and 12 core GPU combined with project partner and jelly bean make the user experience probably one of the fastest out there in the Android market Android tablet marketplace um, so yeah if you're looking to buy an Android tablet now this you can't go wrong with this device especially with the price point uh, of around one one ninety nine dollars or two forty nine for the sixteen GB one. Uh, nothing even comes close to beating it as of now. Um, so we're almost done with the benchmarks here. And let's go ahead and see what our scores are. And our scores here are thirty seven twenty eight. This is uh, a pretty uh, usual score, and it's an average score that I get with this device. Uh, and my score usually ranges within the 3500 mark to maybe about the 3700 mark I've got a good score here of 3728 so uh, the benchmarks as you can see aren't surprisingly high in this device but uh, the user experience is really really good um, and you you basically 
this is probably one of the fastest uh, Android tablets out there. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys for watching and call peace out.